Putting up to it's important we look at the facts. Yeah. Why? Why? Douglas Ross is sounding pretty scared. I believe in independence. And he clapped like a seal. You used to do the, the Westminster beat for the Herald. You know mm -hmm. many people. What's your assessment of the, the latest round in this civil war? Uh, well, Angus McNeil is um, a well-known agitator. So I think it's not surprising. And, you know, he's not hes not the sort of SNP establishment. He's not the biggest fan. He was always very outspoken. He has been outspoken about, you know, the stuff going on with Nicola Sturgeon. But, yeah, Mary Black, I'm much more interested in what she had to say. Um, you know, Westminster, I, I could relate a lot to some of the things she was saying about toxicity and about the place in terms of how it operates so nothing like you know take the politics out of it it's a very you know claustrophobic environment it's very unfamiliar like the way things work is is just completely backwards and I imagine for someone like Mary Black you know she was elected at the age of 20 she came down she was very sort of gung-ho and quite you know full of energy and and a bit of a sort of you know she was quite rebellious and things like that. And I imagine in her head when she got elected, she would want to come down and sort of shake things up and, and make a difference and try and, you know, change things. And I think that she has probably felt st really stifled in Westminster because you just can't come in, you know, you can't come in and start ripping up the rule book. It really doesn't work like that. I mean, we've seen what happened to Boris when he obviously try to bend the rules and change the rules and do things, you know, it's, it's very frowned upon and I think she's probably felt quite stifled. Putting up to her, it's important we look at the facts. Yeah. Why? Why? Douglas Ross is sounding pretty scared. I believe in independence. And he clapped like a seal.